A lot of people have been telling me to try out some different single board computers. This is the Orange Pi PC. It's cheaper than the Raspberry Pi 3, and it actually emulates very close to the Raspberry Pi 3. And so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the board. I'm gonna show you how to set up Retro Orange Pi, similar to Retro Pi, but for the Orange Pi. And then we're gonna do some emulation tests as well. So it's gonna go in that order, unboxing, set it up, and then we're gonna play everything from NES, Super Nintendo, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, as well as PSP, Mortal Kombat. We're gonna see how high we can up the resolution until we get it to bog down. Hello YouTube, we got a new single board computer here. Came in this, and you get the little box, Orange Pi, a new generation of mini PC. Um, thank you to banggood.com, they sent me this unit free of charge. Check them out, banggood.com, you get pies, orange pies, all sorts of stuff, and they are often very, very cheap. Um, so an option for you. I'm gonna post the specs on the screen here. It's very similar to the Raspberry Pi. It is cheaper. It is missing a couple of little slight things like one USB port, not as fast ethernet, but I chose this one because it's cheaper than the Raspberry Pi. On first boot, you're gonna go ahead and set up your controller and then you should be in the RetroPie menu. Go ahead and move over to your laptop and now we're gonna have, uh, I have two folders here. First, you need to go get ROMs online somewhere. I have them already on a hard drive here on the left. And then we're in retro or we're in the retro pie directories here we're going to go over to roms and then basically you just drag and drop the roms to the correct directory if you want video snaps which are little video preview files you will need those as well but there's a lot of rom packs things like that where it should just be drag and drop i'm, I'm just going to do a really basic image here dreamcast and nintendo super nintendo and then after i'm done dragging and dropping these over through the network i'm connected with the ethernet cable then i'm going to restart my banana pie and then I be, should be here. All right, we rebooted, and now I've added all the Nintendo games plus video snaps. Really easy to do, just drag and drop. So let's go ahead and start in Nintendo. I've also added Super Nintendo, a PSP game, and a Dreamcast game, and Nintendo 64 games. So that's working just fine. Nintendo, check. Let's go back, let's hit up Super Nintendo. Let's do some F-Zero. I didn't do the video snaps for Super Nintendo because I want to see what it would look like without video snaps and then one with video snaps. Oh, wrong button. All right, cool. We got this working good. No lag whatsoever. I didn't expect any lag in any of these first few systems, but you know. Right. So we're good there. All right, let's step it up to Nintendo 64. We're gonna play Beetle Adventure Racing. This is a game that runs pretty good on the Raspberry Pi. Welcome. One player, single race, full grid. Okay, good choice, nice wheels. Let's throw something a little heavier at it. Let's go ahead and do, let's shoot at Golden. All 
Alright, so, so far... I'm having a glitch with the, uh... With the, uh... Gun, which just fires. I think it's an Xbox. It's a controller for big thing. Just like Raspberry Pi 3, it lacks a little bit in the Nintendo 64 performance. There's something up with my controller right now, but you get the point at this point, what it's capable of doing there. Now Dreamcast, let's check this out. Charge, one, are you ready? Action! PSP. Scorpion. Get 
All right, so there you have it. Orange Retro Pie. Overall, I am super um, impressed. For the price and everything, um, it's similar as far as power adapter, SD card, and the controller. All those additional costs are all the same. The only thing, um, this does not have uh, Wi-Fi. That might be, so that's another $5 for the dongle. It has one less USB port, so you might need to buy a hub. Um, but that's about it. Um, the LAN on here is plenty fast. Well, the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus does have faster Ethernet, but um, this has faster Ethernet than the Raspberry 3B. Uh, as far as the RetroPie version, it doesn't have as much compatibility as far as controllers and add-ons and bezels and, and bells and whistles and things like that. But uh, where I see a big niche for this is somebody on a super budget um, who just wants you know to play the classics. You know, you want Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, and then you can still play PlayStation and some Nintendo 64 as well. So it gives you a ton of games for a really inexpensive price. So another single board computer to consider. Really easy setup, runs RetroPie, so a lot of these things that I did in this video should be fairly common if you set one of these up before. So with all that said, I gotta give this a thumbs up because of the price. If it was more than the Raspberry Pi 3, I would give it a thumbs down. But because of the price, the price to performance ratio is still there for me. Let me know if you guys got any questions. I'll put some links in the description to some of this stuff. And uh, thank you to banggood.com because they are the ones that sent me this board. I asked for it, they sent it to me. So really good stuff from them. Check them out as well. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.